I think that uh, the uh, agreement between uh, Gantz and uh, Netanyahu is very clear, that Netanyahu will be able to move forward with this idea of uh, extending the sovereignty or extending the law uh, on, the, on the territories that in, in, the Judean, in Judean Samaria that are uh, designated as future Israeli uh, territory. I think what is said in this uh, agreement also is that this is going to happen only if uh, Israel uh, is in full uh, agreement on that with the United States. And what we hear from the Americans, I think it's very clear too, mm. that the Americans are going to support it because this is part of the plan, provided that Israel accepts the full, uh, the full plan, which means that Israel will accept that there's going to be a, a Palestinian state uh, if the Palestinians give up their narrative. And uh, this is something that until now Israel was not uh, ready to say as, as Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu said it in the Barilan, uh, speech uh, 10 years ago, but, uh, but it's not an Israeli official position. What the, um, what the Americans are demanding from Israel to, is to come up with an official position that says we accept that if the Palestinians change their narrative, they are ready to accept uh, Israel as a nation state of the Jewish people, they are ready to address Israel's security concerns, then uh, Israel uh, will, have, uh, will accept a Palestinian state in specific uh, borders that would be agreed upon between Israel and the Palestinians. Then if we do that, we shall have the American consent to uh, extend our sovereignty slash law uh, to, uh, to these uh, territories in the West Bank that are designated as, uh, as Israel in the future by the plan. I think if, as long as it uh, relates to Gantz and Netanyahu, they will be ready to accept it. We'll be ready to, to go along with the, uh, with the Americans on that issue. That's my belief. I'm not sure. Uh, not everybody in Netanyahu's uh, uh, government is, is supporting the, that position. Definitely uh, not Yamina. And uh, it's not clear whether uh, uh, all of the Likud members are in favor of that. But I think eventually there's going to be a, a majority inside the government for that. And if there is a majority for that, then this move is going to be implemented. Now, of course, everybody understands. We know that this is going to cause some uh, uh, repercussions and that there's going to be some uh, steps taken by the Palestinians and there may be some violence as well and the, the Jordanians don't like it. We, we know all of that. But definitely for Israel, there can't be a better time. If we knew who's going to win the elections, maybe we could have postponed it. But nobody knows what's going to happen in the elections, right? So uh, this is an opportune time for Israel to, to move on that with American support. And, uh, and, and the control of uh, the Jordan Valley is critical for, our, for Israel's security. I, I say it as, a, as not only the, the former uh, Brigadier General who was in charge of the uh, Intelligence Research Division, but also as a former uh, uh, intelligence, uh, Chief Intelligence Officer of our Central Command of uh, our uh, uh, the areas of Judea and Samaria. Of course, who can, who can protect Israel without controlling the, the, uh, the Jordan Valley? And uh, the mistake we did in, in Gaza, where we didn't, uh, don't have a Jordan Valley there, we see we, we suffer from the results of that uh, almost every day. So uh, we know what it means uh, not to be able to, to govern your uh, security border. Let, let me remind you in this way, in this respect, that it's not uh, something that is uh, for of the extreme right in Israel or something like that, not at all. Rabin, in, in 1995, when he presented the, the, uh, the second Oslo agreement to the, to the Knesset, he said, our uh, policy is to have the Jordan Valley in its widest possible inter interpretation as the uh, Eastern security border of Israel. That's Rabin understood it well, uh, understood this well. So this is something that uh, enjoys a wide uh, uh, support in Israel. Now, uh, we understand there's going to be some uh, backlash for that. We understand that. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, we, we shall do our best together with the Americans to, to uh, have uh, remedies to this backlash. That's, uh, that's something that, uh, in my mind, is, is going to happen. And it's not against peace, by the way. All those who say that this means that uh, I read all these uh, things written by the left in Israel and uh, by uh, the supporters of the Palestinians around the world, 
that this would mean the end of peace and uh, this means the uh, that Israel will become one uh, that uh, so they're going to be we are moving towards the one state solution and we should govern over the Palestinians these are all these are all nonsense that even the Palestinians don't uh, threaten to give up the Palestinian authority the Palestinians will co continue to be governed by the Palestinian authority in the you know, Judea and Samaria areas and by the Palestinian uh, version of uh, Hamas controlled uh, territories in, in Gaza. That's, uh, that's not going to change. So uh, there's no, in, under no circumstances, Israel is going to rule over the Palestinians. They have their own self-rule uh, that may become a state if they decide to change their narrative. It's, uh, then, they, then it may become a state. And uh, it's up to them to decide if they want to, to have a state or not. Up to now, the Palestinians, in, in their uh, deliberations, prefer to, to remain committed to the goal of uh, destroying Israel than to the goal of having a state. And that's why they didn't have a state and they missed so many opportunities. They refused to accept the Obama Kerry uh, proposal. They refused to accept all the proposals that were there before in, in uh, Camp David and so on, so on, so on, so on. So, forth. so it's, uh, until now, they prefer to uh, stick to this idea that Israel will disappear one day.